YouTubers. Let's build this one. This is very simple program, but uh, you should have already installed Cube IDE. Also, you should have a little bit experience like LED blink program, the simple one. If you have done something like that, it should be sufficient. Now we go to the wiring diagram, STM32 and the sensor here. The ground is connected to ground, VCC connected to 3.3 volt, A out connected to pin B1. I have five, four LEDs, one side of LED connected to A1, next LED A3, next LED A5, next LED A7. Other side of all LEDs are connected to ground through 220 ohm resistors. Now the picture is here. Now we go to cube IDE. The cube IDE is here. And we put part number F103C8. This one, C8TX. Select this one and click next. And give some name. I give soil and click finish, finish button. While this one loading, I have given a website link in the description in this video description if you go below there is a website link go to your browser go to your browser in the browser type that um, my my website here i have the diagram is here and the picture is here and i have given the cube id setting and also the Codes are here. It's very simple code. We need to do to this setting. We go there. Now it's ready. The cube ID already loaded. Now click system core and click sys. Click serial wire debug. Debug is serial wire. Now click analog, this one. Click ADC1, go below the in 9, number 9, tick. Now, if you make it bigger, the continuous conversion and make sure it's enabled. Now, for the pin PA1, click an GPA output, pin 3. Output, pin 5, output, and pin 7 also, the last one, output. Now click save. Yes. Yes. It will take some time and it's ready. Go below for the user code. User code begin zero. Type u int 16 t read value. And we go to User code begin 2. This one. Number 2. Type H A L A D C underscore start bracket and a H A D C one and semicolon. Now we go to while loop. There are something to type. 
you, you go to that web page here the while loop code is here select this one until until the delay 500 and copy it and paste it here what this basically does is it pulls for conversion for one minute and then read value and it gets from ADC and it checks for the read value if it is more than 2300 the red LED is on if it is between 1800 and 2300 yellow LED is on if it is between 1500 and 1800, green LED is on. If it is less than that, blue LED is on. It's very simple. And then finally we give uh, half second delay. That's it. And we save it. And we compile. All good is finished. Zero error, zero warning. Now you can click run button or debug button, whatever you like, and upload the code to the uh, STM32. I have uploaded the code. Let's uh, put the water in it. And when we get more moisture, we get blue light. And when we get less moisture, we get slowly, slowly red light. More water, less water, red light. Uh, when we come back to the code, I have calibrated yellow LED and green and blue LED for one third and two third and nearly full moisture. Those numbers are 2300, 1800 and 1500. If you want a different amount, you can do trial and error and you can change these numbers. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.